These are factory entertainments, Star Trek The Next Generation, Cricket Type 1 Phaser Replicas. Uh, we have two versions here. This is the Season 1 Special Edition. Uh, these are limited uh, to a smaller quantity and are a little bit higher in price. As you can see, it's all silver here. And the second one is the one that was seen throughout the television show as late as midway through Star Trek Voyager in a last small appearance. They function the same. The only difference is the color scheme where the season one version is painted with a all silver uh, barrel in the front. Uh, but the electronics, sound effects, and lighting are the same. The trigger uh, removes here this trigger panel and underneath are the batteries for these small little batteries here, which you can get pretty much anywhere, uh, Amazon or uh, anywhere else. Uh, they come with a few batteries included, but they're not gonna last very long because they are just meant for the initial delivery. So this little piece of plastic just slides out here. To turn on the phaser here, you just hold down the left side button for a few seconds until the display kicks on. There we go. And then once the display is on, uh, you can simply adjust the intensity uh, up or down here using the two buttons here. There are uh, eight settings to the top and then all the way back down again. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, so depending on how you hit that uh, is how hard you will zap your enemy. So back down to the lowest setting here, here's the trigger sound effect. We'll go up to three and up to the top level here. So you can see the trigger uh, sound is a little bit different when you get up to the top. Uh, a little more high intensity, but not too different here. Um, and then the way to turn it off, you just simply hold down that beam with button once again here the left side button until the lighting goes off and then you're powered off now there are two other settings here there is an overload which you can do from powered on or from powered off that's holding down the two intensity buttons as you can see when that goes up here not only does the sound effect ratchet up but the power setting goes to a large level and then crashes as well. So I just blew myself up. Uh, the other setting is uh, something called crusher mode. Uh, this is called crusher mode because it's a repeating beam sound based on Wesley Crusher's use of the device in the episode The Game from season five, where he's trying to uh, distract the mind altered crew from capturing him. So to activate crusher mode, once the phaser is turned on, you hold down the trigger and the beam intensity button on the right. Um, now you don't have to worry about guessing here. There are instructions provided with the phaser replica. So it's very clear on how to activate these here. So hold down phaser uh, trigger and the right side beam for a moment. And it goes into repeat. So it does that for about five seconds. And then you can do it again if you want. Just click them down. And then you're just back to normal mode after that. Or you can overload it again. And it'll power off. It's a pretty hefty little replica here. Uh, the body here, aside from the plastic trigger cover, uh, is um, an all metal shell. And uh, same with the season one edition. Um, you know, it's all silver, but as I mentioned before, that's really the only difference here. Uh, the size and uh, weight functionality is all the same. If I turn them both on here, you can see here they both, they both operate the same. And they both have crusher mode. And the 
overload functionality. And there you go, those are Factor Entertainment's Star Trek The Next Generation Type 1 Cricket Phaser Replicas. Each one also comes packaged in a wooden display case, which you can see here. And uh, each one of those comes with both the phaser as well as a small plaque detailing the item number you've got there. So this is uh, phaser 191 of their run. And for the Cricket Phaser Season 1 edition, this is item number 33. This is going to be the first uh, and second product that they've uh, got coming in their phaser lineup. The company's already teased that their Season 1 Dust Buster Phaser, which is the larger uh, Type 2 hand phaser from the first season of The Next Generation, uh, will be coming soon, so we expect to see some pre-orders for those here early in 2023. If you want uh, your own version of these Cricut phasers, we'll have links to Factory Entertainment's product in our review and in the description of this video. So special thanks to Factory Entertainment for sending us these. Uh, just to be clear as a disclosure, they did send us these for review. We did not purchase them for the site and we'll let you fans uh, see what you think. Let us know in the comments below or on trekcore.com.